Hi there, it's Friday and we are going to have our weekly live newsletter. So here's what you need to know for this coming week. Number one, um, solar eclipse is going to be on August 21st. We want to make sure that this is done in a really, really safe way. And so um, we have a consent form that says that your child will have the glasses that are approved by NASA, I believe, um, so that they can look at this um, at the eclipse. And if you're wondering why that is, it's because when you look at the sun, your eyes kind of go like this or like you sneeze um, because you're, it's a protective thing to keep your eyes safe so that you don't accidentally burn your retinas by looking at the sun. But when the sun is eclipsed, um, you don't have that reaction as much, especially where we're going to be, where we're at like the 90 some odd percentile. I've heard anywhere from 91 to 95. I think we won't really know until that day. Um, but they, your eyes are less likely to do that protective like squinting or sneezing. And so we need those black glasses and I've put them on. They're like totally dark, like you are in absolute blackout. So what we'll do that day is we'll kind of look down as we walk out. Um, and Mrs. Phillips has designed like a beach party so the kids can bring like a beach towel and they can lay outside and they'll have the glasses. And then I think we're gonna have a parent make this other little thing that'll kind of go over the glasses to keep your kids really, really safe so that they can safely look at the eclipse. Um, and that's going to be really, really cool. And then we'll be doing other eclipse-related activities that afternoon. Um, NWEA is also going to be happening next week. I believe that's Monday, um, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, so we'll be doing NWEA testing. And then um, the following week, we have um, our picture day is coming up on 9-1. And then we'll be having Labor Day on 9-1 which is super exciting. And then also, it's a little insider information, I'm on the Grandparents Day Committee. Our Grandparents Day is going to be September 29th. So that's super exciting. One more thing I wanted to talk to you about, the math test. The math test was a bit of a doozy. Um, grades were not as high as I was hoping for most students. Um, and it's because there's, it's just, these tests are hard. And I'm in support of hard tests because I-STEP is hard and NWEA is hard. And um, I think it's good for them to practice doing things that are hard. And so um, what I do, if they do poorly on the test, anything below an 80, they will need to do the remedial activities. Our book is so cool. Um, it automatically assigns them remediation for the areas where they do poorly on the test, which I think is really, really cool. So they do the remedial activities, and then they can take the test again once those are done. Um, and then I also try to meet with as many kids as I can to try to help them uh, remediate before they take the retest. And then I count the highest of the two grades. And I do that because, you know, like if you fail your driver's test when you're 16, and then you go back and you take it two weeks later and you pass, they don't give you two thirds of your license because they average your two scores together. Um, so whatever is their highest score is what goes down in my grade book. Um, those are not gonna go in Monday, they're gonna go in the next Monday so that I can have everybody through the retest by then. That's the plan. So that's all I have for you. If you have any questions at all, I know that was a lot of information. You can give me um, a call or an email. I'll see you soon, bye.